why I became a professional wrestler? Well, let's just say God made me nearly perfect. I could have been anything I decided to do. I could have been a singer, a rapper, an actor, a basketball player, but I decided to be a pro wrestler because of my incredible good looks, my natural charisma, my athleticism. I mean, come on. It's obvious that this is the sport where I would be the most successful in. This is the sport where I would be most famous in. You know why? Because I'm a showman. I'm a show off. I love to show off and I'm a walking show. That's why I decided to be a pro wrestler. Who I admired most as a kid growing up? Well, the answer to that question is very easy. The person I admire most was me. You see, I'm not going to give anybody else any credit for being the person that I looked up to or for being the person that made me who I am today, but me. I'm the reason behind my success. You see, every morning when I would wake up and I would look in that mirror, I would always tell myself, you're going to be somebody one day. You're going to grow up to be famous. Even in school, all the other children would gravitate to me because I'm a leader, not a follower. You know, I could have been a prophet because look at me now. I called it. I'm a star, just like I knew I would be. What's my goals here in Evolucha? Well, let's see. Just like any other competitor and any other fed, my goal is to be the number one guy. My goal is to be the main attraction of Evolucha. And in order to do that, I will have to hold victories over all the top stars of Evolucha. Guys like Chaos, guys like Supreme, girls like Angel. You see, it doesn't matter who it is, I'm gonna leave them all laying on their back. Starstruck, starstruck at the fact that they've just been defeated by Famous B. And once I do that, Evolucha's stock will rise because I am famous and everywhere I'm at, fame is at. And everywhere fame is at is where everyone wants to be. Where do I see myself in 15 years? On everybody's TV. I mean, you see the superstardom and the fame I have now? In 15 years, that'll be multiplied by 15. You know, I'm gonna be traveling all around the world in Lear Jets. I might just write a book. It'll probably be number one bestseller. I'll probably be in movies, documentaries, signing countless autographs, dodging paparazzi. I'm Famous B. That's just what I do. Bright lights, big cities, and pretty chicks. Who would be my dream opponent? My dream match? Well, if I would have to pick one guy that I would say that I would love to step in a square circle with, I would say it would probably be the great Muhammad Ali. And whoa, whoa, wait a minute. I know what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking. He's not a wrestler, but you have the best of both worlds. You have the best from the boxing world and you have the best from the wrestling world. He's Muhammad Ali. He may float like a butterfly, he may sting like a bee, but I'm Famous B and he can't touch me. This has been a spotlight on Famous B. Everybody knows me. Here's a toast to the good life.